Hello there guys, we're looking at line graphs today, so let's briefly have a look at this, and my pen's not working, so you're going to have to put up with some pretty average mouse control here. I think I've got a pen selected, good, so off we go. Um, let's have a look at this chart here, oh it's already penned me, <laughs> I'm already struggling, pause. Okay, let's have a look at this chart here, shall we, and it's asking the question, well, let's just explain it. It's a population chart, and you've got your population. That means people of numbers on the left-hand side, people who live in, let's say, Australia. You've got you know, the years, and let's pretend that in 1985, yeah, um, 11 million people lived in Australia because it says 11 there, doesn't it? Okay. Maybe in 1990, um, 14 million people lived in Australia. And maybe in 1995, um, 17 million, because just between the 16 and the 18, there's the 17, isn't there? So 17 million people. That nine's wrong, by the way. It should say six, zero, two, four, six. That's what it should say. Now, let's go and have a look at um, a question example. We'll go down here, and I might stay away from the pen, if that's right. I've been having trouble with the pen today. Um, let's look at what was the bank balance on tuesday so that just means we go to something like tuesday and let's let's have a look at our line because we're looking at line graphs and lines mean well we use a line on the graph and so here's the line graph going over it now here's the line graph so let's go to tuesday and let's go up from tuesday which will show us the money because there's money over here, isn't there? Here's the balance, here's the money, here's the bank account levels, and here's the days of the week. So if we want information for Tuesday, we're going to go on Tuesday all the way up, and we're going to go, oh, that dot there is on the 400. Yep, 350, 400, 450. It's hard to see with my old eyes, guys. So um, let's say that's on the 400, and that's why 400 is correct. Now let's go and have a look at the actual questions because I think they're a little bit clearer for my poor eyes. Yeah, this is looking a lot better. Let's do some work here, shall we? Okay, um, stay away from the pen, Mr. Burns. The pen's been bad today. When were the salmon numbers greater? So over here you've got your salmon numbers. That's a type of fish. And here's the years that they're measuring the, the, the fish levels. Okay, so where's the highest level, guys? That's not the highest level, is it? That's not the highest level. Hey, this is. There was 90,000, but it's not asking you how many, it's asking you when. It's asking you when. So look, um, yeah, it was 90,000 in 2003. Three. So let's click that, click, and go to submit. Yay. Let's do another one. Let's go to next. Look, we got it right. We're champs. What was the salmon population in 2001? Okay, what was the salmon population in 2001? So let's go to 2001. Look, let's go up there. There it is. Okay, don't go to 2002. Don't go to 2003. Go to 2001. And the population was right there, wasn't it? So the number we're looking at, guys, go across to the number um, information is 60,000. So let's click on 60,000. Okay. Um, let's do one more. Next. Uh, what was the range? I'm really glad it's asking us what was the range because range means the amount between the highest and the lowest. So what's the amount between the highest and the lowest? So let's find the highest score. And your highest score is between the 90,000 and the 100,000, isn't it? It's halfway between. So your highest score is 95,000. I might just try and use a pen and see if... I can do that without ruining everything. Okay, so your highest score is 95,000, okay, because that's that's what that is. There, 95,000. That's your highest. Now I'm going gonna, gonna to get my mouse back. I hope I get my mouse back now. Yeah, is it back? Yeah, it's back. Good. Um, what's your lowest score? What's your lowest um, amount of fish in the water? So it's not that. That's getting there. It's not that. Here's your lowest in 2004. And what's the figure there? It's, oh, it's... Well, it's halfway between the 20,000 and the 30,000. So that's going to be 25,000. So I just might write down 25 if that's okay. Otherwise, I will forget. So your range is going to be um, the difference between 95,000 to 25,000. Because I'm reasonable at maths, so I go 25 to 95 is 70, which means it's going to be 70,000. There it is. So why don't we just click on that? and see if that's right click submit yeah it's correct okay 
there's a little bit of how we would use, um, how we might go ahead and interpret or understand line graphs, guys. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. See you later.